This team Minky. I'm suddenly so hungry. I think I'll get something to eat. <laughs> Boy, that was a close call. If I had to listen to one more story about the colorful people from St. Olaf, I think I'll explode. Ernest T. Minky was St. Olaf's librarian. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> he was also our town's only dentist. He had his office right in the library where he could do both jobs at the same time. But everyone hated Minky. Well, he seemed to take great pleasure in giving other people pain. They hated him so much that nobody ever went to the dentist or the library. <laughs> in 1938, you could tell if someone was from St. Olaf. They were illiterate and they had teeth that looked like Indian corn. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. That was a wonderful story. I'm only half done. I passed a kidney stone once that was less painful than this. <laughs> One summer, I worked up enough nerve to check out the latest Nancy Drew mystery, and Mr. Minky was stamping my book, and his tie caught in the stamping machine. He'd have choked to death if I hadn't cut his tie with my Girl Scout knife. <laughs> well, he was so overwhelmed with gratitude, he let me check my book out for a whole week. What's so special about that? Oh, usually he'd only let you check a book out for an hour. Mr. Minky always said books belong in a library. Really, Rose? I always thought Churchill said that at Yalta. <laughs> but the point is, some people you think are mean might just need a little kindness. And some people, like old lady Claxton, are just plain rotten. <laughs> well, I'm going to prove you're all wrong. Now, there's a week left before the county commissioner's meeting. I'm going to be as nice to her as I can, and I'll bet by the time I'm through, she'll be as anxious to save that tree as we are. Hello, Miss Claxton. This is Rose Nyland. How are you? Well, I've never sat on one before, but wouldn't that be painful? 